So have you guys seen Mel Thompson and Samantha, I always say her name wrong, Rand Randoval, something like that. Have you seen her do the time-tested products video? I thought that was so good and I actually did have a couple of you request that I do that for Mature Woman. And it's funny because as I was going through it, I thought, you know what? I, how long are we talking about? And then when I watched Mel Thompson's video, she was talking about it just being over a year. I have a lot of products that I've had for about a year and that I use over and over again and reach for over and over again. But a lot of these products that I'm gonna to talk to you about today are even more time tested than that. I mean, I'm talking like going back three, four, five years. So I don't know ex the exact time, but I know that I've had every single one of these more than a year and i wanted to show you what my time tested products are what i reach for almost every time i do my makeup or i reach for over and over again so let's get into my top time tested products for the mature woman so i'm not going in any particular order you guys know that i don't normally do that but my first product is the mac fix plus prep and prime this product has been with me for gosh eight years maybe i don't know it's been since it came out because i remember this is my first mac product i i ever got and i remember using it for so many things now what i use it for more than anything is to refresh during the day i will use it if my skin feels super dry because it does have hydrating properties in it i will use it if my skin is feeling like my makeup needs a rejuvenation and i will use it to put on my beauty sponge every single time before i apply my foundation because it does really help smooth out my foundation and it does really help my foundation look more dewier through the day so this is my number one product and along with the sprays is from flower beauty and this is the seal the deal illuminating setting spray and it does make my makeup last longer and it does give a very dewy finish instead of some of those sprays that have so much alcohol in them that they really kind of matte me down and I can't have that because my skin is so dry. So I really love this one and have repurchased this one. I don't know, this is probably like my sixth bottle, seventh bottle, something like that. It is harder to find now, but you can find it on Amazon and you can find it on walmart.com and of course on their website. Now, another product that I've repurchased, this is my second one, is the e.l.f. Contour Palette. I'm not a huge fan of the bronzing palette, but oh my goodness, you guys, I love this contouring palette. Number one, the packaging is great on it. You have the solid plastic packaging. It has a really nice mirror inside of there that I'm not gonna, you know, kind of blind you with. But the other thing I love is the, the actual product in here is fantastic. This contour shade right here is a little bit more on the cool tone side that it can go for just about any woman's coloring and be able to do the contouring. And now, I find myself, as I get more tan, reaching for this one because it does have a little bit more of the warmth to it, so it does a little bit better on the contouring. And the all the products in here, this one is a little bit of a highlight, this one is a little bit of a banana powder, and then of course a bronzing powder. All of these products in here, their creaminess is so good. ELF just did such a great job when they started coming out with these face palettes. The other wonderful thing about these face palettes is these palettes can be popped out, these little sections right here. So if you have one of their, whoops, I blinded you anyway, didn't I? If you have one of their blush palettes, you have an illuminating palette, anything like that, you can pop these little things out, customize your palette. You could put a blush in here. You could put a bronzing color that you like better in here whatever you wanted to and you can customize your own little four quad palette and then throw that in your purse and have everything that you need so i love that elf did that and this is a palette that i reach for over and over again one of the reasons that i struggled just a little bit as to trying to find products that i had reached for over and over again is the drugstore they turn things over they get something really good and then they have a tendency to discontinue it which drives me crazy but the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation is one that I have had for since it came out. I think it was mid-2018 or early 2018. And this is my second bottle. And I'm about a third of the way down on the bottle now. I really love this foundation, but I really do think that they are discontinuing it. I know that you can still find it, some of them, some of the colors on sale 
on the Physician's Formula website. I found it on Amazon and I have found it on walmart.com. But this foundation for me is just the perfect foundation for my dry, mature skin because I find that it doesn't dry me out more when it sets down or if I have to set it with a powder, it still looks beautiful. And I am wearing it today and it just always makes my skin look more radiant more finished, more, you know, the, it doesn't show off any texture. It just is a great foundation. My other foundation is of course, so many people's favorite foundation and it is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Anti-Aging Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream. This one is the matte one and it has a SPF of 40. The other one that is the regular one, which is the one that I actually prefer to this one, has a 50 SPF. And the, I like this one and it doesn't feel super matte on me at all, but I do like the original formula just, just a little bit better. Um, I think because I do have dry skin, this one works all the time for me, unless it's super, super dry in the winter, I don't reach for this one. But any other time of the year, I am just fine with this and I love this stuff. So this is one of those cult favorites that just about any woman can wear, but I find for the mature woman, this is one that will perfect your skin. It will cover all of your, your blemishes, your dark spots, all that kind of stuff. Still have you looking like skin and not looking like cakey makeup. So I really love that one. The Milani Prep Set and Glow. This is my second one of these. I did do a pressed powder video very recently or my favorite powders at the drugstore. This one didn't make it in because it is a glow powder. Even though, you know, I use this now, right now during the winter months as my regular setting powder, it just is, it feels so luxurious. This is a powder that will never make me feel cakey. Even if I use a sponge to dab it across my face, it's still not going to look cakey. It's not gonna make me feel like I'm cakey or dried out. And I absolutely love this powder. This is my second one that I've used. At one time, this wasn't on the Milani Cosmetics website and I was in a panic because I thought, why do they do this? Why do they get rid of the very best stuff? But it's back, it's there, it's still being sold. So I wanted to mention that as a fantastic powder for anybody that has aging skin. It just gives the softest of glow and it just sets your makeup in such a beautiful way, especially if you are somebody that is oily or combination skin, you're gonna find that you really love setting your makeup with this because it doesn't make you dry out even more. Long time ago, I'm talking a long time ago, <laughs> Wet n Wild released these two Reflect Shimmer Palettes and this is All Have a Cosmo. I talk about this all the time, you guys. I am wearing it today as my highlighter. And I talk about these so much. There's Boozy Brunch and then there's this one. And you can still get these on the website. But this is one, you don't, when you dip your finger in here, since it is a baked product, you feel like, well, it's pretty dry. But on the skin, you guys, that does not emphasize any texture on me. And look at how pretty that glow is. And it is just like glass across the skin. It just makes the skin just look so pretty. I always just hit the high points of my cheeks with it. And I'm wearing it on my inner corner. But it's a huge pan that you would have forever to go through. I actually... Didn't hit pan on my first one and then I went and bought another one because, you know, we're always afraid of, you know, keeping our makeup too long. I think I had my original one for like five years. So this one I think I've had for a year and a half. But I go back to this over and over again because it's just a fantastic highlighter. Never ever shows any texture on my mature skin and it's one that I will reach for over and over again. This one is one that is semi newer to me. So I would say that I have been buying this for a year and a half, maybe maybe close to two years. But this is from the Sephora collection and this is the contour, contour color and this is in Second Chance. And you can see I've hit pan on it. I'm due for a new one. I love this stuff. This is the perfect cool color to do any contouring you wanna do. So if you need to carve out cheekbones, you need to get rid of jowls, you need to hide a double chin, I'm gonna link my video right up here on my contouring about you know a, a, a round face or a fat face and doing all of that contouring, high forehead, anything like that, all that contouring that will help recede those parts that you want to recede and that is such a good powder to do that. It blends so well and it hits all of those high points that I need to hide my imperfections, like having a five 
finger, forehead, all of those things that you need to do. And it lasts a really long time. Even, even though I have hit pan on this, this is my first one. And like I said, I think I've had it about a year and a half. Love this stuff. Now, as I was thinking about blushes that I had, I had to mention the Clinique Cheek Pops. I think these came out in 2015. I think I've had mine since 2016. Yeah, that's way too long, but it's a powder product and nothing's wrong with it still. And I am about to hit pan on it. So this one is in Heather Pop and I absolutely love this color because it goes with just about any look I put on my eyes, unless it's a super duper warm look. And you can see right there how pretty it is. This, these can be built up because you can see you can build it up to the color that's in the pan if you want to but they are just so blendable and so creamy and I have never found that I have any problems with them. I have three or four colors in it and I just think that they're just exceptional blushes, but particularly Heather Pop I reach for all the time because it just suits me in any look that I'm going for. And I am wearing, wearing Heather Pop on my cheeks today. Love Clinique Cheek Pops, they're just next level pretty and then also the ColourPop super shock shadows uh, not shadows they're blush i've talked about this over and over again it's a cream to powder formula and yes i have hit pan on this one i find that this is so good on my mature skin because it's creamy enough for me to be able to work with without getting any texture on my skin. And if you have dry skin like I do, you will really find that using a cream product, especially this one where it goes on cream, so it's gonna hug your cheeks, it's gonna be there all day long, and then it turns to just this set down pretty powder. And even though it doesn't feel powdery after it sets down, you've got it there, it stays, you have a blush that is just gorgeous. So if you have a certain color, this one is called Between the Sheets. It's my favorite. And again, this is my second one that I've bought. And ColourPop is absolutely notorious for discontinuing things. So this is one that I would be really upset if they discontinued because I absolutely love Between the Sheets. All right, you guys know I'm all about the drugstore, but there are some high-end products that I feel like, yes, they're worth the money. And one of them is Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. The blushes are okay. They're not blushes that I would feel like um, I had to run out and get. They're okay, and the highlight is okay. I like the bronzer a lot. I use the bronzer a lot just because this is a very subdued tone for me and it's light enough and airy enough that I can really blend it out well. But the ambient lighting powders, and I just went through another small one of those, but these two right here, I'll swirl them together and just hit all over the high points of my face as finishing powders. And they do something to make your skin look incandescent almost, just a glow, just a beautiful, soft, luminous look to it. And I do like, and I do have it in here, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter that I use for the same effect. This is a good highlighter for somebody that really doesn't want to have a highlighter. They just want to have a little bit of light to a certain area. And even though this is one I reach for, and it is in here for a reason, because it's one that you just Honestly, you can take your brush, swirl it in here, hit every single part of your face, even go across your eyes after you've done your eyeshadow, and this gives the most beautiful, radiant look to your face, but that's what the ambient powders do too. That's why I put both of these in here, because I reach for both of them. I feel like the, the hourglass powders can go underneath my eyes in the summertime when I sweat and everything creases, and they never ever look cakey. This one, I can if it's not super humid outside, but when when it's humid, these can go underneath my eyes and they set my under eye makeup so well, even though I don't normally do that. But yes, the ambient lighting powders for a mature woman and if she wants her skin to glow, she wants her skin to have that dewy, fresh look, then it's definitely going to be powders that, that are really, really good for mature skin. Another thing that I learned about about three years ago, so I've had this for about three years. This is the Lancome Absolute Finishing, Absolute Finishing Powder and this is Absolute Gold and absolute golden. I'm not saying that right. It is not a gold color. It is a pinky peach color and it's a finishing powder because it has quite a bit of color in it. So when you dust this across your cheeks or when you dust it across wherever, it's going to give you a luminosity and it can be, I've put a lot on there. That's 
a lot, but I wanted to show you the color of it. So it does give just a tiny bit of sheen while still finishing your makeup. So it's not a finishing powder that I will go in and use to set any areas like around my nose or my chin, but it is a finishing powder that gives you just a beautiful finished look. And again, I've talked about that a lot with a lot of these powders. When you're a mature woman, you're looking for that subtle glow. You're not looking for shine, you're not looking for matte, you're looking for that sweet spot that makes you look a little bit long, younger because your skin's glowing. And so that's what these powders that I've discussed today really do, and this one is fantastic. I know it's a little bit on the pricier side, but this is for me is one that I would repurchase over again, but I haven't had to because that tub is so huge. So love that one. All right, so these little babies right here, I love these little singles. They're the infallible eyeshadows from L'Oreal. These came out quite a few years ago. I don't know how many years ago, but quite a few years ago. And I have three that I absolutely love. This one is called Golden Sage. This one is the perfect shadow to go on your lid if you're wondering about green shadows. And it just is one that when I first got it, I was like, holy smoke, look at how pigmented. I'm barely swiping across my hand. Look at the glow and the reflect off of that. You put that on your eyelid and you're gonna be like, wow, something stunning on your eyelid for sure. So that is Golden Sage and I love it. And these don't seem to show a lot of texture, even though I do have a little bit of crepiness across my eyelids, they don't seem to show texture at all. And then this, this one right here is called liquid diamond and it is the silver color and I'll show that one to you too and I reach for this one as well almost as much as the golden sage I just think it's so pretty and they both have this quality of being color but not being bright bold color so they're gonna have that reflect in there and they're gonna have as you look around and as you close your eyes a little bit they're gonna, you're gonna be able to see that that color is there, but it's not going to be such a bold color that people are going, gosh, her eyeshadow. So I think that if you haven't tried these before, see if you can get them. I know that they are, some of them are still in Rite Aids and I think CVS's. Also, you can get them on walmart.com and obviously you can get them on Amazon still. So love these. I think they're so good. You can't get them in Walgreens. I do know that Walgreens doesn't carry these anymore. So I really do love those. I have three gel eyeliners. Actually, I don't know if the Urban Decay 24-7 is a gel eyeliner. It actually just says that it's waterproof, long-lasting, and glide on. So this one is in the color Vice, and Vice for me is the perfect purple color ever. It just, it goes on so well, it stays on. I can't put it in a water, water line and have it stay there all day. There's only one product that I've had so far that can do that. But if you if you like the color, you wanna put it in your water line, you have to touch up. That's really kind of the way it is. It's gonna, you know, our water line constantly gets blinked on and get, you know, the water in there just kind of takes away the eyeliner. There's not much we can do. So that is the 24 seven Vice liners from Urban Decay. This one is from Milani. This is the Stay Put. That one is in Cobalt. And this one, are uh, it's also called Waterproof Stay Put Liner. Loved that one. These all have the same exact consistency, so you know. they Once they dry down, they all do the same thing. They stay where they're put. This is the Marc Jacobs Gel Highliner. All three of these are eyeliners that I have reached for over and over again. That is in Blacker cobalt and vice. So I'll make sure I list all of those um, probably up here and down below for you too. But I wanted to show you all three of these because I wear an eyeliner every day. I wear eyeliner every day in my waterline. I usually pick a color to go in my waterline or like today I just did a brown because I was wearing a little bit more color on my lids. But love these and I love that each of them is waterproof. I love that they glide on my mature eyes so, so easily. But Love every one of these for their quality of never tugging on my eyes and being super blendable. So I can put them on and use them um, and smudge them way out so that they're not going to transfer at all. They're not gonna bleed down on my eyes. Love every one of those. Years ago, about four years ago, five years ago, almost five, when I first started my YouTube channel, there were certain lipsticks that I got into and I was like, okay, these are really good. The first one is not a lipstick, it's a lip gloss and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it is a lipstick for me because it is such a glossy, opaque formula and I love this. And I'm going to 
apply just a little bit of this right now because I can tell my lips are getting a little bit dry. And so I'll show you what this is. So there it is. This is in the color lilac. I think I want to say it's lilac dusk or dusky lilac or something like that. And yeah, I always forget what the colors are, but look at how pretty and opaque that is. Isn't that amazing and how beautiful that is? I like it because it is one of my very favorite spring colors. It just makes me feel like spring and summer is here. And I usually put it away for the winter and then as soon as spring hits, I pull this out and I love this. And I have had, this is my second tube, but I always go back to it. So this is one that doesn't bleed because it's thick enough, but not goopy thick. It's one of those ones that just is that right middle spot where it's not going to bleed on me. And I love that about it. And then I also have two favorite Maybelline lipsticks. And this one is called Warm Me Up. I am running out of hand. So we're going to have to go over here. This one is called Warm Me Up. So many of you have said that you love that. It is the perfect neutral pink. I love this color. Maybelline lipsticks work on my mature lips. They don't bleed on me normally. I do blot, you know, apply blot and then apply a little bit more. But that one is called Warm Me Up. And then this one is on the mauve. And I know that mauve lipsticks aren't something that everybody likes to wear, but boy, this is my winter color that I go to as a neutral color. It just is one of those ones that I have found that I love wearing with so many looks. And it was, those two are my first two that I ever got from Maybelline and I'm still wearing them years and years later. So I wanted to definitely share those with you. And then also the NYX Butter Glosses. Those all came out about the same time my channel was starting up. And these are the same thing. They are such a good gloss as far as having a bit of color, that one is creme brulee and it's really light. They have a bit of color, but they don't have so much color that you can't put them over top of other lipsticks. This one is tiramisu, which is one of my favorites. Excuse my shaking hands as usual. And then this third one is called meringue and you wanna talk perfect pink color in the spring. There it is. I do terrible swatches, you guys. I do awful with my swatches. But these glosses, they're like $5 a tube. You can get them even cheaper on Amazon, which is where I will be linking all of these from. And I absolutely love them. I just think that they're glosses that stay a long time. They go with just about anything. I have a lot more colors than this, but these are my three favorites that originally came out and I'm back to them and I absolutely love them. And I just think that they're glosses you can't go wrong with. They're not ones that are going to make you feel like you've got a sticky gloss on or a heavy gloss, but they're gonna last you a good long while. Now a gloss usually lasts what? An hour or two, but you know, if you drink or you eat, obviously it's not gonna last that long, but they do last a long time on me. I don't mind reapplying glosses because I am a gloss girl. I'd rather have my lips hydrated than have a matte on there. So I really love that one. And I did say that was the last thing, but this is really the last thing. <laughs> These are my favorite, favorite lip liners. And this comes from Sephora collection. And these are the Gel Rouge or Rouge Gel lip liners. That one is Rum Raisin right there. And Rum Raisin I reach for all the time. The next one is Wild at Heart. And this one is kind of along the same lines as on the mauve. It's, it's kind of like a mauve berry color, but very deep and dusty. And I love that. And then this is the original one that I got and it's Bellflower. And that is your perfect mauve color. And I wear these a lot as my lipsticks. So I will fill in my lips with them and then blot. And then I'll fill in my lips again. And these are so, so good, creamy, buttery, doesn't bleed because it is along the lines of being more of a crayon. And so for my mature lips, when I want something to be super outstanding, super um, creamy, blendable, all the good things, you can put other lipsticks on top of them, you can put lip gloss in the middle if you want to, all those good things, it is just one of those ones that I absolutely love. So I made a mess on my arms. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my time-tested favorites. These are things that I go back to, I reach for over and over again, and I absolutely love them. I know that this is something that you guys probably have too in your makeup collection. You have things that you've gone back to for years and years and years. And I'd love to see those things from you guys and tell me in the comment section what your time-tested favorites are. If, even if it's one, even if it's 10, I'd love to hear them because those are the things that we really enjoy, we go back to, and we can't live without. 
So I do appreciate all of you spending a part of your day with me. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And again, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy seeing my time-tested favorites. I hope everyone is doing well. Please stay happy, stay healthy. Love you very much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.